primary students, welcome back to the lesson. Eh? Uh, our lesson now is a 3.2. There's a force on the current carrying conductor in the magnetic. Okay, so for this one, we don't have any calculation. We need to use our hand to show the concept. Okay, now let me start. Okay, take out your notes. Eh? That's a 3.2. Okay, let's see first one. They show you the diagram. They say what happened to the current carrying conductor in the magnetic field. Okay, now we're going to see the two things. First one is a current carrying. Okay, number two in the magnetic field. So that means now we've got two magnetic fields that will crash together. First one we learned is a 3.1. Remember the 3.1 we're using right hand grip rule. Okay, the current grip after that they produce a magnetic field. Okay, now the situation is two things. One is from the current, another one from the magnet. Both also will produce a magnetic field. Okay, let's see the diagram. Okay, this one diagram that show the iron yoke, U-shape. After that, inside the iron yoke, we got magnetic magnet. Okay, this one we call magnetic magnet. Up we got one magnet is a south, down we got north pole. Okay, after that, they join with the copper wire. Then we join with the power supply. Okay, after that, on these two wire, these two wire is a fixed wire. Okay, cannot move already. Then I put one more short copper wire. This one short copper wire, that means they can move it. Either they move in the iron yoke, either they move further from the iron yoke. They will vibrate. Okay, so from here, we're going to see a battery here is a positive. The short one is a negative. Okay, now let's see the observation before we want to learn about the, uh, the concept. Okay, they say when the power supply is switched on, the short copper wire is moved to the... Okay, so now the question will ask where the short copper wire will move. Okay, so from here, we do know the answer. We just left it. Okay, we go to explanation. Okay, why the copper wire will move it? Okay, now we're going to see the explanation. First one, they say when the switch is on. Okay, when I just on, that means the current will flow through the short copper wire. So the current will flow through the short copper wire. Okay, let me draw the current how to flow first. Okay, the current will start from positive. Okay, start to flow. Okay, now then after that, they say when they just flow, they produce a magnetic field. Remember, current when just flow through the conductor, they got magnetic field. Okay, now, when the current produce a magnetic field, okay, now you see the B. B, you help me to remember the word we call interaction. Interaction means when the magnetic field from the current, another one is a magnetic field from the permanent magnet. When the interaction, interaction means when they meet in 90 degrees. We got it interaction. Okay, between the magnetic field, they will produce uh, from the current, another magnetic field from the permanent magnet occur. Okay, interaction between each other, they will occur. Okay, B, when this one interaction between the two magnetic field occur, what they produce? They produce force. Okay, magnetic force. So they would produce the force on the conductor. So now they say the method we want to determine direction of the force acting to the conductor, we need to using Fleming left hand rule. So that's why today I say we need to using the hand to find the direction. So this one rule we call it Fleming left hand rule. Okay, before I want to show the Fleming left hand rule, we see this one diagram how to explain first. Okay, now the current will go in. Okay, after that, they will flow through the short copper wire. Okay, after that, they will go up. Okay, the situation like this. Normally, the short copper wire, we need to draw is a inside. Exactly below the magnet. So, we cannot draw outside. So, we draw inside exactly below the magnet. Why exactly below? Because I told you already, interaction. So now the copper wire, they got current, pass through. Okay, the current is like this. Okay? So if you stand like that, that means the current is come to me. Okay, this one is a short copper wire. Okay, the current is like this. So means, I stand here, I see the arrow is come to me. 
Okay, remember, uh, I'm just using the word come to me or far away from me. Okay, come to me, that means out from the board. Far away from me means the current is go in the board. Okay, this one is the meaning. Okay, so now they say you want to find, we're using Fleming left hand rule. Okay, can't we see the Fleming left hand rule? Actually, is what? Okay, Fleming left hand rule. Okay, we separate by three things. Okay, three things. First one, force. Okay, then after that, we got perpendicular with the force. B stands for magnet. And another one, that's a C. So this one, they stand for the axis. Normally, when you learn about Y and X only, is it? This one is a 3D direction. So we learn about X, Y, Z. Okay, three lines also perpendicular to the each other. So this one we call Fleming left hand rule. Okay, left hand. So we show our left hand first. Left hand, ah. Huh? Okay, the thumb. Thumb is represent up. The one is a force. Okay, the motion of the object. That means later the copper wire where to go. That means where's the direction of the force. To push the copper wire. Okay, now your first finger. Okay, first finger is represent magnet. Normally, how we going to show the magnet? Okay, below. Let's see your first finger. Below the finger is represent north. Up is a south. Because your direction is always north go to south. Okay, if follow this one diagram, north is down, south is up. So the direction how you draw the arrow, the arrow is up, is it? Always up because north go to south. So if I point a finger, we're also using the first finger from north go up. So it should be point like this. Okay? If I tabale, I put the north up, south I put down, so I need to point down. Okay? From north go to south. So this one is the first finger. Okay, third finger, third finger is current. Represent the current. So how they move from here positive go to negative. So from here how they move. Normally the current we do want to see the supply. We want to see is the thing that can move. So from here the thing can move is the short copper wire. So current now I will tell you, the current direction is come to me. Okay, it's come to me. If I show in the copper wire, come to me mean this one. Second finger, you need to pour yourself. Pour yourself means come to me. Okay, now I take out the three finger. Already. Now like this is perpendicular each other. Okay, force, magnet, current. Okay, now I want to show this one diagram. Okay, where's the direction of the copper wire can be moved? Okay, first I pour the magnet first. Okay, after you pour the magnet, the magnet direction cannot change already. You don't go and change again. So now the first one I point north to south. So I fix the first finger is point up. Okay, don't change again. Ah. Just up only. Ah. Okay, point up. Okay, now I want to take out my second finger. Second finger is represent current. So now the situation is you just can like this only. You cannot turn up already. Because your north cannot change huh? like this already. So that means your finger cannot up. Just turn left or turn right. That's all. Okay, now I take out my second finger already. Okay, just now I told you the current is what? The current is come to me. That's all, no? You see the arrow. The arrow is come to my side. So from here, I point up. Now I take out second finger. Okay, second finger point myself. That means you turn your second finger, point to yourself. Okay, now the second finger point to me already. After point to me, I want you to take out the thumb. Okay, point to me already. Yeah. Take out the thumb, thumb is here. Okay, that means my thumb now is go to the left hand side. Okay, my thumb is go to the left hand side. So finally, I can tell you, the copper wire now roll to the Left hand side. That means they will roll in the iron yoke. Okay. So this one is how we're using the Fleming left hand to find the direction of the force. So now you help me to fill in. Finally, copper wire will move go where? Left hand side. Or you say they move in iron yoke. Okay. 
So now we continue to using this Fleming to solve the following question. Okay, now let me introduce the Fleming. the Fleming okay four finger that represent the direction of the magnetic field four finger means the first finger okay the second finger they represent by the direction of the current okay after that your thumb is represent the force or you say motion finally the object where to move okay all must in right angle so when you show all must in 90 degrees okay after that they say the current and magnetic field in the parallel if like this Okay, like this, like this, like pistol. Okay, like this means not perpendicular, is it? So from here they say they do not produce any force. Okay, although not like this, okay, bend a little bit, like this, not exactly 90. Okay, they still got force, very small. So you might exactly the maximum uh, must be 90. Then they produce a maximum force. Okay, so, okay, let's see the catapult field. Catapult for you, another meaning in call it resultant field. Okay, what means a resultant? Remember, we learn about the resultant force. Resultant force means the final. After you plus, after you minus, that one we call resultant. Okay, catapult field means the field. After you minus, after you plus, after you join, uh, that one we call catapult field. That means finally, the magnetic field is how? That one is catapult field. Okay, catapult field. We separate by two, okay, two parts. First one, there's a magnet and current. Means the magnetic field from the magnet. Combine current magnetic field. Okay, this one is the first. Second one is a, when current also produce magnetic field. Okay, after that, another current also produce magnetic field. Then they combine. Okay, after that, they produce a catapult field. So that means catapult field, they got two parts. First one, they show you A. They say the magnetic field produced by the current and the magnetic field produced by the permanent magnet. The second part, magnetic field produced by the two current carrying conductor are placed closer to each other. So that means these two later we need to draw catapult field result. Okay, let's see the first type. First type they say if both same direction, if you find later the magnetic field becomes same direction, means what okay before that i told you if the field becomes same direction you draw the arrow becomes same the meaning is that region is very strong okay when the region becomes strong the line must be closer okay this one is a meaning for the magnetic field when they become closer mean they become strong okay number two if both in opposite direction <clears throat> that means the magnetic field in opposite direction okay magnetic field in opposite direction means they will become weak okay become weak huh? then opposite direction become weak then after that the line become further okay this one not charge charge you say opposite direction oh they will attract each other when same direction they will repel no okay we never talking about the charge we say magnetic field when they are in the same direction they never attract we just say they're closer okay closer after that strong Okay, when they are in opposite direction, the magnetic field, that means they become weak region. Weak region means what? They will far away each other. Okay, far away means further. When they further means this region is a weak. Okay, become further and weak. Okay, so now we're going to see the direction of the catapult field for the first one. There's a magnet and current. Okay, we're using the Fleming to find out where is the force. Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, first one, <clears throat> they got two bar of the magnet, north and south. After that, the current pass center. Okay, now we go and draw first. Okay, everyone, we're going to see the first catapult field. Okay, there's a magnet 
join with the current. Okay, now we're going to separate one by one to draw first. Okay, this one is a magnet. When two magnetic bar they put together, okay, north and south opposite direction is it? Two also magnet, so that's why we go to draw the direction of the north to south. Okay, direction support is north go to south lah. This one is a normal two plate. The attraction for the magnetic field. Okay, this one. Uh, then we go to see the current. Okay, current is a current magnetic field using right hand grip. Eh? Okay, this one cross. Cross means far away or come to you. Come to me is a dot. Far away means far away. Away from you. Okay, far away means this one is point to your sum is come to you. Eh? Far away, that means you point the body. So from here, if I show like this, this one is come to me. Okay, so that means far away means the balik, far away. Or you say up and down, this one is far away. So this one is come to me. Okay, come out from the paper, go in the paper. So this one is a cross, cross means in the paper. Okay, so this one is a personal, never join. So now I want to join. So I want to join, I need to put this one, go inside the magnet. So I redraw again. Okay, so this one is a uh, clockwise. So I draw the clockwise direction. Okay, after that, I still need to draw the magnet. Okay, magnet also got magnetic field. Okay, the direction like this. Okay, I don't want to cross. Okay. Now, I want you to see which part direction become the same. Okay, this one, the current is a clockwise. Magnetic field, the current is north to right and south. So I can see this part. Can you see all the direction become same? This part is the opposite direction. So this one same direction means strong. Okay, if I say strong, then you understood what you need to do. Understood means strong region later you need to draw closer line. The line cannot cross. Just close only. Then after that, what happened? Then after that, they become closer. Uh, nothing lah. Closer only lah. So the direction become the same. Then they become closer. Okay. Now one, because they are opposite direction. So I find it this one. But later you draw the line must be further. Because there's a weak region. Okay. So now, when this one becomes strong. Okay. When they can become strong, they produce the force. Okay. Because they're strong. Lah. Strong, this one weak. Then they produce a magnetic force to push, okay, to push the magnetic field to come down. So that one we call it magnetic force. Okay, this one is a concept. We're using concept to explain. Same direction produce strong region. Strong region that means they produce a magnetic force. Then the magnetic force will pull the other to come down. So this one we call it as a catapult field. Okay, catapult field means the final. This one got field, this one also got field. Finally, I find it this one strong. So we take the strong one to minus the weak one. So finally, what is your resultant? Resultant is come down. Okay, so this one is what later we need to draw. Okay, if we do want to using that concept for the strong region, okay, we're using the flaming. Okay, using the flaming. Okay, now we point our magnet first, north to south. So I point. North go to south. So I point the first finger go there. Okay, now this one thumb later. Last one is a thumb. So we keep first. Okay, now cross. Cross means what? Cross means far away. Okay, far away. So that means far away, you take out your current first. Now the current is it point to myself? Okay, point to you. Point to you. Okay, point to me. If I, if I stand here, they point to me. Okay, so now I want to say, now the current is come out from the board. Okay, but cross, no. Cross means what? Cross means far away from me. That means go in the board. The one we call far away from me. It's come to me, actually it's a dot. Okay, now far away from me means I need to turn our second finger, go to the board. So I turn... Okay, this one cannot change. Huh? This one cannot up already. Huh? This one always point to the uh, my right hand side. Okay, after that, take out the second finger. Now I have to turn far away from me. 
So I turn. Okay, make sure your hand is okay. Eh? Turn. Uh, this one is down only. Eh? I went far away. Uh, you cannot see any. Okay, the finger now already point the white board. Point the white board means already far away from me. Now, last one, I take out my thumb. Where's my thumb? Go down. Okay, my thumb now is down. So, that means the force the show is go downwards. So, same like the meaning for this part. Because strong region. After that, strong region, down is a weak region. So, we take the big one minus the small one. So, that one, they produce a force to come downwards. That one we call catapult fit. Okay, let's see how to redraw. Just now I say the force is go down, is it? So, when the force go down, up must be very strong. Strong, that means closer. Closer means they got one curve. Okay, how to draw? Let's see here. Okay, we draw one of the curve. Then you draw the line must be closer. Okay, we want take out first. Then we draw the normal. Do not straight. Curve like this. A little bit curved. Okay, so this one you want. Okay. Then for, after that, this part is a curve, is it? Curve means you are closer and you are strong. Okay, so finally, you produce one force to come down. Motion force. Then you draw your direction north, go to south. So this one is a one complete that show the catapult field. Finally, where's the catapult field? The magnetic field go downwards. Okay, the motion go downwards. So that means this one just like the copper wire. Finally, where they go, they move into the iron yoke. So that one is a final result. Okay, so this one is a one magnet and one current when they meet together. Okay, so that means you can refer your notes here. They got example one. So I want you to draw the example one. Then you show me where's the force to go. Okay, you must draw the direction. Then you must draw the force direction. Okay, magnetic field direction and force direction. Okay, that one is example one. Okay, so now we go to the second one. Second one, they show that one is uh, two current together inside the permanent magnet. Okay, let's see what they need to do. Okay, before we start to draw, we're using the Fleming. We check where is the force to go. Okay, now we check one by one, north to south. Okay, one is current come to me, one the current is far away from me. Okay, so now I point north to south. Okay, we see which one easier to point. Like, I think this one dot is more easier. You don't need to bend your hand. Okay, so we show this one, uh, north to south. Okay, dot mean point to myself. So I point to myself. When I point to myself, means I take out the thumb, thumb is up. Okay, the thumb is up. So means the force is acting upwards here. So I label first. Up. Okay, this one sure is down, like, is it? Okay, because opposite direction. So that means now I need to draw. I need to draw the magnetic field. Okay, finally, catapult field, how to draw. Okay, let's see. Uh, you also can try first. This one is an example for the example 2. Okay, example 2. So you can try to draw first. Then after that, we check the answer. Is it correct or not? Okay, finish to draw, is it? Now we go and draw together. Then you check. Okay, this one I told you already the force is up, is it? This one force up means this one is curved. This one force is down means up should be curved. Okay, your drawing must be like this. Just remember the direction of the magnetic field. So this one is the final answer. Okay, for the catapult field, magnet and current. Okay, this one is the first type. Then after that, we need to go is the second type. The second type is same direction of the current and also opposite direction of the current. But now they're never related with the magnet, just the current magnetic field. Okay, let's see here. The two conductor they will attract each other at the outside. Okay, when they are in opposite direction. 
student, let's see the number one. Number one, they say if the current in the same direction, this one's a current move in the same direction. Okay, the magnetic field in the region between the two wires are in the opposite direction. That means later you can see the magnetic field at the center here. There's a magnetic field in opposite direction. Then after that, they say two conductors they will attract each other at outside, not inside. Okay, then you can see the diagram here. Okay, you see outside. Outside they join together, is it? Then inside is empty. So they say the outside they will attract each other. Another one they say opposite direction. Which one opposite direction? You can see the diagram here. Okay, center you can see the direction of the magnetic field. They are in opposite direction. So now you can see the diagram. Okay, so we can start to draw first to see is it same or not. Okay, first we're going to see this part. Dot. We're using grip. Huh? So dot means come to me. Come to me is a anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise. This one called. This one also same anti-clockwise. Okay, now we check. Is it the magnetic field in opposite direction at the center? Okay, this one is up. This one is down. So that means direction of the magnetic field at the center is opposite direction. So opposite direction, that means the force that will... How? The force becomes stronger or weak. The force becomes weak. Weak, that means we cannot draw center become closer. The center is empty because you are weak rigid. Okay, the line also further and further. So the first part, we're going to draw further. Eh? So that means we cannot join the line when starting. Okay, so first part we draw here is uh, uh, further. Okay. This part is a uh, bigger. So, so I never join. I just empty like this. Okay, then after that, they say what? The two conductors, they will attract each other in outside. Okay, let's see outside. Okay, this one is uh, anti-clockwise. Then this one also anti-clockwise. So, can you see outside? Outside the direction, how? Outside the direction is the same direction. See? Inside is the opposite. Okay, when here, they find it, they go one way. When they go one way, that means they can attract together. They will attract together. So that's why here I explain for you, opposite direction at the center, but outside, two conductors, they will attract each other at the outside. Why? Because outside is the same direction. So from here, when I draw outside, I draw one or two circle inside, then the outside I need to join. Okay, I need to join, no too large. Okay, I need to join. Then you continue for two or three circles. Okay, then we finish. So direction how? Direction is still the same lah. And D crop one. So this one we call catabolic field when two opposite uh, when two same direction current flow through. Okay. So from here I can show you the diagram again. You can see what is that. The diagram is exactly same like this. Now I want to explain this one diagram. Actually, what's the meaning? Okay, center big region. Okay, big region. Okay, big region means the line is cannot join together. That means you are far away. Okay, you can draw empty lah because this one diagram will show you empty. I'm at no place already. So you draw center is empty. Can you see outside become closer a little bit? Outside closer means you are same direction. So this one is a weak. Outside is a strong. Outside is a strong region. Okay, after that another thing is a let's see the force. Okay, the force catabolic field force. Okay, this one force. Okay, they will attract to each other. Okay, these two force they will attract to the each other. Why? That's why finally they join together. So that's why we say the force become attract to the each other. Okay, because same direction. Okay, 
finally. So that's why force, catabolic field of the force that will attract at the center. Okay, the force produced is attract each other. Then after that, the region at the center is a weak, then outside is a strong. So this one situation is when two current same direction. Okay, although the current is a cross, when the current is go in, the drawing also the same. So you just remember when two current in same direction, the pattern like this. Then just like the mass. Okay, the mass you close your eyes. Okay, that one is the uh, same direction. Okay, we also can say about the another part. Another part they say current in opposite direction. Okay, current in opposite direction means the magnetic field also produced between the current uh, uh, between the conductor. Then after that, we see what happens for if the two current in opposite direction. Okay, let me see first. Okay, let's see the second situation. Now one current is up, another current is down. So I show one is dot, another one is a cross. Okay, now we see what's the difference with the just now one. Okay, when I see this one is a dot, dot means anti-clockwise. Then I draw the arrow anti-clockwise. So this one is a clockwise. Okay, now what we need to see is a center. Can you see the center is the same direction? In the same direction, what you can say? Okay, don't talk about the four first. Same direction means strong region. If I say strong region, okay, strong region, what we need to do? We need to plus one more, closer. When you draw the line, must be closer. Okay, another one is final. You see the last part. Last part, this one is go to the, because you turn. So this one like this. Okay, this one, anti-crowd-wise, so finally like this. So I want you to see at the top. Top is direction move to left. Direction move to the right. Outside, the direction is in opposite direction, is it? So if outside in opposite direction, that means we cannot say they attract each other. That means they will repel to the each other. So that's why this one region, we cannot join together. Just now, it's you join together the circle, is it? So this one, no more. This one is, you draw by yourself, I draw by myself. Different. Okay, because the outside the direction is the opposite. So that's why finally we are repelled. We never join one. Just the center become closer because of strong region. So first part, I need to separate two of the magnetic field because finally we cannot join one. So the first step, we go to separate. Okay, separate. Then after that, never cross. Okay, we got some curve like this. Okay, then we continue to draw. Center is a closer because strong. So we draw the circle is a center a little bit closer the line. Okay. So another one also same. Okay, like this. Okay, finally we need to label the force. Okay, the force, this one is a empty. Okay, this one is a clockwise. So you find here, center how to draw. Center must be follow up. So all the arrow here is up. So this one we call it strong region. Okay, outside how? Outside this one is go to this side. This one is go to another side. So this one is a weak. This one also weak. Okay, how about the force? Finally, we're talking about force. You see the line? They got attract, they got join or not? They never join, is it? So this one we say the force is repel to each other. Okay, the finally force, the two current they produce the force, is it interaction, is it? The force is repel to the each other. So that means if I put two wire like this, one up, one down, so after that, when I just on, you find it the wire will bend away, far away to the each other. Because your current is one up and one down, then you produce the direction for the outside is the opposite direction. So that's why they repel. Okay, if just now I have two current also come down or two current also up, finally you join, you see the conductor current, they will closer to the each other. Okay, that's why you draw the direction, you draw the pattern is like this. Like this. Uh, this one is a pattern. Okay, they go join. 
This one is no more. The line is never crossed to each other. Okay, so this one is a second pole. There's a current and current. Okay, you can see the diagram what I show you. You need to see is it? Okay, the one is a catabolic field. Okay, now we need to go is a factor. Okay, what factor that can make the force on the current carrying conductor in the magnetic field become stronger? So that means this one flame is it? So I want to make the force become stronger. So these two must be the factor to make the force become stronger. First one, you sure magnet must be strong lah. If you make the magnet become strong, that means the force become high. Second one must be the current. Okay, you use a high power supply. So that means the magnetic uh, the motion to move the object also becomes stronger. Okay, let's see here. First one they say the strength of the magnetic field. If you make the magnetic field become stronger, so that means you can produce the current. Uh, sorry, not the current, you can produce the motion, the force becomes stronger. Okay, how to make the strength of the magnetic field become higher? Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, you can say about using more powerful magnet. Okay, when two pole is it? Okay, normally we put the two pole. Okay, north and south. Then center you got current is it? Finally move is it force? Okay, you can say you're using the stronger power. Okay, the bigger of the magnetic field. Okay, stronger of the magnetic field. How to produce? By using the stronger magnet. Okay, number two, you can say two magnet you put closer lah. When the two magnet become closer means you concentrate the magnetic field. So that means you produce the force also bigger. Okay, now the second one, you increase the magnitude of the current. How to increase the magnitude of the current? First, must be use a high voltage. Okay, high voltage. Okay, number two, you can say about wire. Okay, we using the wire. Okay, the wire using thicker wire. Remember, V equal I R. If I using thicker wire, resistance become very low. Resistance become low, then the current become high. Okay, another one they say in a shorter wire. If I using shorter wire, means resistance also become smaller, then the current become higher. Okay, this one is a factor. How to uh, increase the force? Okay, to let the object to moving. Okay, finally, example is a motor. You want the motor turn faster. So that means they're using this concept. Either change the magnet, either you change about the current. Then your force becomes higher. Okay, now we're going to see the turning effect of the current carrying conductor in the magnetic field. After you see the diagram, that one is a one of the example for the current carrying conductor. Okay, they're using as a motor turning. Okay, can you see the blade at the center? There's a turning blade. Okay, this one using the concept is a effect for two magnetic field. One is from the magnet, permanent magnet. Another one is a current. Okay, let's see this thing how to function. We need to know direction how to rotate. Okay, so from here, when a coin carries a current in the magnetic field, okay, when you just on, then the current they got magnetic field. Okay, two sides of the coin perpendicular to the field of the experience the force in the opposite direction. Okay, let's see here. The current start to flow. Okay, how about the magnetic field? Magnetic field like this. Okay, north to south. Then the current is go up and come down. So when the current is go up, come down, means they are cut in perpendicular. When they cut in perpendicular, we can call it as an interaction. Interaction between two magnetic fields. Finally, what happened? So from here, they say finally they will produce a pair of the forces. So this pair of the forces, they are moved in opposite direction. But the magnitude becomes the equal. So that means when they rotate, one push how many force up, another must be push how many force to come down. Okay, so if your magnitude is different, that means how to rotate. So that means we must be equal. One up, one down, then they produce a force should be the same. Okay, so from here, we're going to see how the force direction, how to draw. So for this one situation, because rotation is it, 
either clockwise, either anti-clockwise. So we're still using our Fleming left hand rule. Okay. <laughs> So if I stand here, I can see actually the current CD is come to me. Okay, then the AB actually the current is far away from me. So what I need to show is north to south. Okay, then the current is come to me. So I take out my second finger, I come, I point myself. Okay, when I point myself, so I need to take out my thumb. So when I take out my thumb, can you see my thumb is up? Okay. So now I want to show AB. AB is far away from me, is it? So I keep my thumb first. I just show my north to south. Okay, you cannot change already. Ah. Keep like this. Okay, now you take our second finger. Now I want far away from me. So I need to turn, turn, turn. Turn until my second finger point to the board. Ah, that means far away from me. So I take out my thumb. My thumb is down. So that means this side... You move down. Another side is move up. Okay, so now finally how they rotate. How the blade to rotate. They will rotate like this. Anti-clockwise. So that means when you just on the current, okay, you find it, they keep rotate. Anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise to rotate. Okay, just like your fan. When you just on, you anti-clockwise to rotate. So this one we're using the magnetic field, okay, for the permanent magnet and also the current. Until there can interaction, then they produce a force, then the blade can be rotated. Okay, this one is the first application. Okay, now we're going to see the second one. That's using the moving coin for the end meter. Okay, let's see the diagram first. Okay, when you see the diagram. You can see the first part they show about the current. When the current they pass through the coin. Okay, so the first one and second one almost the same lah. Because it's current pass, pass through the coin, you must say the magnetic field produced. Okay, number two, you must say interaction. Interaction between the magnetic field of the current and also the permanent magnet. Finally, they produce the force, is it? Okay, now the force is rotate in opposite direction. How they rotate? One move up, another one move down. That's why they can be swing. Then they can be rotate. So now you see the coin. They rotate until they stop. Okay, why suddenly they stop? Depend the current. Lah. If the current large, that means they can rotate more. If the current is less, that means they rotate less. So you find it they stop because of the spring. First one, the spring must be flexible. Lah. If hard, that means they cannot rotate. So some question will ask about the spring. Is it a spring you want hard or flexible? Normally it's a flexible. So that's why the easy can be rotate. Okay, now E. The pointer fixed at the coin deflected to show the reading on the scale. So that means until the current they produce until you finish, then they show until that level, then the spring will stop the needle. So the needle now they show actually is what's the reading. So emitter still using the carrying conductor in magnetic field by using the force to rotate. Make sure the force in couple force they move in opposite direction. Okay, understand? Huh? Okay, then we go to the second one. That's an electric DC motor. Remember the DC, DC means direct current. Direct current means the current must be moved always in the same direction. They cannot reverse. If you start from left to right, always left to right. Cannot be, uh, turn reverse. Okay, now we're going to see in the diagram actually what structure you need to know. Okay, first one you can see about the commutator. Okay, we got two commutator. Okay, they join together the stick already. Okay, stick with what? Stick with the carbon brushes. Okay, one side is a carbon brushes, another side also carbon brushes. The commutator can be rotated. The carbon brushes 
they do not fix with the commutator, but the carbon brushes, the place, the location must be the same. Okay, let's see here if I draw. Okay, carbon is here. Okay, the carbon brush is here, they join with the battery. Okay, this one is your commutator. Your commutator. Okay, that means this one commutator, they can rotate. They can turn up and turn down. But this one should be fixed. Okay, the carbon brusher is fixed to left and right. So this one, commutator can be turned. Okay, bring what? Bring the coin to turn now. Because inside got one of the coin, is it? Okay, bring the coin, they go to turn. Okay, so now, we need to explain this one is how to function. Okay, this one just like the something, the object to turning, example, your fan or blade. Okay, your juju blade. Okay, so from here, you can see the first one, commutator is what's the function. Okay, first one, commutator, they exchange the contact with the carbon brushes for every half rotation. So this one, carbon, uh, the commutator, Later, they will change direction with the carbon brushes. Okay, example, I label this one. Okay, I make it darker. This one is a P, this one is a Q. Later, half rotation. Half rotation means 180. Okay, whole is a 360, is it? When 180, you find it, this one commutator P, they will go to this side. The Q will come here. Okay, so that means every half rotation, the commutator will change different direction. Okay, but the carbon brush is the same. Okay, if I label this one A and B, uh, A and B is always the same. They will change. Just the P and Q, when they just rotate half, they will change direction. Okay, so this one is a commutator. Okay, so now we're going to see commutator function is what? Reverse the direction of the current in the coin. They want to reverse the current in the coin. What means of reverse the current in the coin? Okay, example, if follow this one, this one positive, this one negative is it. So in, so it should be like this. Okay, if I label this one is uh, X, Y, Z, if I just finish with it, V, X, Y, Z. Okay, if I label V, X, Y, Z. Okay, now you see what happened. The current now is uh, from X to Y, Y to Z, Z to V. Okay, the situation like this. So we label X, Y, Z, V. First round. Okay, now they say commutator later the function is reverse the direction of the current in the coil. Means later after they rotate, you can find it. The current now is what? V, Z, Y, X. Second round. Okay, this one is the first round. This one is the second round. Later, they will rotate like this. Okay, so this one is whose function? Commutator. So that's why commutator can be reverse the direction of the current in the coin to make sure why they want to reverse. They want to reverse. The reason is they want to produce the force in same direction. If they produce the force in same direction, means the rotation always is the same. If they're anti-clockwise, that means every time you are anti-clockwise. Don't tell me your fan is turned to the clockwise, later half turn to anti-clockwise, then go to clockwise, then anti-clockwise. They have to produce a wind. So that's why the commutator want to make sure this one blade always turn in same direction. Always turn in same direction means you produce the force must be always the same. So how to make it always the same direction? So commutator will reverse the current in the coin. Not out, uh, in the coin. Outside is the same one because your battery put like this. You cannot change already. Inside, they will change. Okay, now we need to go through how to change. You will ask how to change. When starting like this, then later what change? What suddenly can change one? Okay, now we go and see step by step. Okay, you also can refer the diagram. Okay, I just want to tell you the diagram got a little bit wrong. You can see the second way, step two. The step two, can you see the battery? You help me to reverse the battery. Okay, because the battery when starting, they put like this. Okay, you help me to change the step two. 
step two, having to change the battery become like this. Okay, change become negative first, after that positive. Because I want to follow the first step. First step they give you is a pos negative, positive. So this one also negative, positive. Okay, so you have me to change two of the, here got me battery, of two battery. So all you add become two battery. Okay, step one until step four, all is two battery. Then the battery must all in the same direction. Okay, now we need to explain one by one. Okay, you can refer the diagram I show you. That one is what I draw. Let's see the first diagram. Okay, first diagram they show you the North Pole and South Pole. After that, the coin is at the center. Okay, the battery, you got two battery. Okay, we start from the positive first. Okay, let's see the external external circuit is the battery circuit. Okay, let's see the external circuit. Now the current is start to flow. They start to flow from the carbon brushes cube. Okay, carbon brushes cube. Then go to the commutator. There's a blue color. Then go in the coin. So go in the coin. They start from the D C first. D flow to the C. Okay, then after that, they will come back. So the current will come back B to A. Then go to the red commutator. Then after that, they go to the carbon brush P, then come back. So this one is a one complete of the current how to flow. Okay, so from here, this, this one diagram, we find it, uh, the current will flow from D, C, B, A. So this one we call internal current. Okay, internal current in the coin, the current flow D to C, B to A. How about the external current? The external current is from the Q to the P. Okay, so finish about the current. Okay, now we know this one got interaction. Interaction of the magnetic field of current and also magnetic field from the permanent magnet. So we need to show the force, how to make the coin to rotate. Either clockwise, either anti-clockwise. So we're using the Fleming left-hand rule. Okay, now you point north to south. That means you take out your first finger, you point to your right-hand side. Okay, when you point to your right-hand side, okay, now we go and see the easier one. There's a rotation coin, A, B. A, B. Now the current is B to A. Current is flow B to A. B to A means come to you. Okay, come to you. So you point your second finger, point to yourself. The first finger cannot change really, always point to the right. Now your second finger, point to yourself. When you point to yourself, you take out your thumb. Is it your thumb point upwards? If your thumb point upwards means that's a correct. That's a direction of the force to push the A, B side coin go up. Okay, so that means now the red color part will rotate up. So understood, the blue color part of the coin must be go down. Okay, so finally, how the, the whole blade, how to rotate. They rotate in clockwise. Okay? Understand? For the first diagram. Okay, eh? So, if follow the notes, how they explain for you? For the note, you can see when current flow through horizontal coin, magnetic field is produced around it. B. The interaction between the magnetic field. So you must say interaction uh, between the magnetic field and the permanent magnet produce resultant field. That means catapult field. And two forces in opposite direction will produce. Okay, now see the force produce the turning effect on the coin. When the force just produce, then the coin that can be turned. Okay, okay can see clear uh, what I draw? Okay, now I want you to see the second step. Okay, the second step. Okay, second step, you can see the blade now turn in 90 degrees already. Okay, turn in 90 degrees. 
okay when it turn in 90 degrees okay now you can see the red color part red color part that mean the a b side of the blade up ready go up ready okay the blue one is down okay now we're going to see the external circuit okay the battery never change direction still the same carbon brush never move it's still p and q orange color and blue color okay now you want to see it's a commutator can you see the commutator is rotate together with the coin they never stick to the carbon brush okay they together with the blade to rotate eh? now the external circuit the current still flow from q to p never changes still direct current okay now we need to see what happened for the current in the coin okay can you see the commutator and carbon brush now is broken broken means what broken means no current can flow in the blade okay no current can flow in the coin that means now the coin is don't have any current if no current that means we cannot produce a catapult field because you cannot have interaction now you just got one magnetic field that's a permanent magnet the current never produced so from here we can say internal current now is no current flow okay if no current flow what happened okay they say the coin they still will rotate the coin is still to continue to rotate to the same direction that's a uh, clockwise why they keep to rotate because of inertia you need to explain that is an inertia okay inertia means what you cannot stop immediately example your fan you off your fan can your fan stop immediately no is it they still rotate rotate become slowly is it so means now the blade still can rotate but don't have current to don't have any force to pop to force it to rotate they just because of inertia cannot stop immediately they continue to rotate okay let's see the second step second step is when the coin they get to upright upright means 90 degrees so the contact between the carbon brushes and also the commutator is broken now it's broken no current to flow it so there's uh, no turning force okay on it because no current to flow in so but the coin they still continue to rotate so we must say because of the inertia okay because of the inertia so inertia will make it to rotate until they go to the 100 to 80 okay 180 degrees then become horizontal again okay horizontal again means you need to see the number three okay diagram number three i will show you diagram number three okay now you see the diagram number three okay we make the diagram number three and diagram number one let's see what's the difference okay now can you see the red color side red color side of the coin actually there's an ab is it now they go to right hand side already that means they're near with the soft the sub pole when starting the step one red color is near with the north pole now they go to the south pole because you turn 180 already okay now a b c d are labeled still the same a b is for the red color cd is blue color okay we see the external circuit okay external circuit is never changed because there's a direction uh, directly proportion oh, sorry not directly proportional there's a direct current so you find it the current still flow from q to p q to p okay now the current will go in the first commutator there's a red color okay when they go in the red color red color side is a a b z so now the current will start from a flow to b then c go to d okay then come out to the p then finish so now i want to explain about the current flow okay internal current flow now is how there's a from a to b c to d compare the first step is it different first step is what d c b a now after half rotation 
can you see the current in the coin already different direction there's a a b c d so this one is what i want to tell you call mu data actually what's the function the function is make sure the current in the coin flow in opposite direction when every half rotation why they want to make half rotation the current chain direction in the coin the reason is they want to make the coin every time produce a force is the same direction so that's why the blade or you say the coin they will rotate in the same direction when i just on the current okay but the current flow inside is a different never mind important is the force to make sure the blade turning always in one direction so now we need to explain by using the word let's see the notes okay when a coin in the horizontal position again okay you must say when they come to this pose again the side of the coin changes position so now you need to say uh, you can mention about first one if you say dcba now you need to mention abcd okay you add one more point there's a function of commutator the commutator reverses the direction of the current in the coin then why to ensure that the forces on the coin uh, on the coin turn the coin in the dire one direction only you say about the car uh, carbon uh, the common data they will change the direction of the current in the coin so why because they want to make sure the force acting to the coin to rotate the coin in one direction only okay so the last one you say the coin still rotate in the same direction so this one is the third point the third step, what you need to add, you need to add commutator. And the last one, okay, we're going to go back to see the last one. Okay, the last one means the blue, the blue coin is up already. That's a C and D. Now the A, B red color is come down already. Okay, the current outside is still the same from Q to P. Okay, but now... We want to explain again the commutator and also the carbon brush now is broken. When they're broken, that means no current will flow through the coin. If no current, that means we don't have any forces acting to the coin. But the coin still can be rotated because of the inertia. So when it just rotate back, that means now you are finished. Okay, one, uh, 100 and... 80 is it then i rotate back so now we finish about the 360 okay we complete one circle turning okay so from the word still the same lah exactly same like the step two they just say the above process are repeated okay and the motor will continue to rotate okay so this one is a uh, finish one of the rotation of the DC motor, direct current of the motor. So make sure you know every step how to explain. Okay. Okay, now we go to the another motor. There's an AC motor. Remember the AC motor? AC means I can using the alternating current. I know they using direct current. I mean, I can using the alternating current. But you will ask if I using alternate alternating current, that means the blade will like this, ah, turn left and turn right. So that's why we don't want this type of happen. Okay, we don't want this thing to happen. What we need to do, we need to make sure the blade also turn in one direction. So you see the diagram. You see what's the difference with the DC motor first. The finish can you find what's the different okay, the first one then they were using battery lah. they're using the can you see the symbol okay that one is an alternating current maybe they're using power supply then the chain become alternating current 
Okay, now, can you see, don't have any commutator. Okay, the chain becomes slip rings. Sometimes they say slip rings, a pair of the slip rings, or sometimes they will say two commutator. Actually, this one is a commutator, they just take two only. You can say a slip rings, you also can say commutator, but two. Okay, this one we call a pair of the strip rings. Okay, carbon brushes also got, but now the carbon brushes they never sharing. Before that, commutator is sharing, is it? When I just rotate, uh, then you share another side. Okay, now the carbon brush is fixed to one of the ring. Okay, this ring, P ring, must be using this carbon brush. Q ring by using another carbon brush. You cannot share it. So this one is the AC moto. Later, we can explain more in chapter 3.3 how and why we need to chain become strip rings. Okay, when I'm using AC. Now we're going to explain first. Okay, when the current pass through the coin, the magnetic field around it produce. Same lah. Current just go, then magnetic field produce. Then you must add interaction again. Now the interaction between the magnetic field, okay, with the permanent magnet, then they produce resultant field. Then after that, same, two forces in opposite direction produce. Then the forces produce a turning effect to the coin. Finally, the carbon brushes are pushed against the two slip rings. So the carbon joined together with the slip rings cannot move one. Fixed already. So finally, they still can rotate. Okay, this one is a simple explanation. We never go to step by step. Just now, it's a step-by-step for DC, is it? AC for the next topic, where we will continue step-by-step. Step, how to explain using the AC motor. Okay, the last one is a moving coin loudspeaker. Let's see the moving coin loudspeaker, how they function by using car uh, current carrying conductor again. Okay, when you see the diagram, okay, we also got the magnet, then the current flow in. Okay, now we will explain one by one. A. When the current pass through the coin, the magnetic field around it produce. The first sentence always the same. Eh? Okay, number two must be interaction. Interaction between the magnetic field and the magnet, then produce a resultant field. Then after that, produce the force. Okay, now the force, they are acting to the paper core. Paper core is an outside, the two sliding part. Okay, now the force that cause the paper core to vibrate. Okay, remember before that we learned about uh, the telephonia piece. The one is a diaphragm to vibrate, is it? Now the loudspeaker they're using is a paper core. Now the paper core they will move outwards and also inwards because of the flowing of the alternating current. Okay, the paper cone they vibrate at the frequency of the alternating current which has same frequency as the original sound. So the sound when it just go through, they produce a current. So this one current is the alternating current. The alternating current means they can produce a magnetic field. So when they produce a magnetic field, so interaction will happen. Okay, this one alternating current and also the magnetic field of the permanent magnet, they will produce the forces. These forces will make the, uh, the corn to be vibrate. Okay, how they vibrate? They vibrate must be follow the sound frequency. Okay, follow the sound frequency. Okay, after that, they say the A in front of the corn vibrate to produce the original sound. Remember the sound? Compression, refraction. Finally, they produce the sound wave. So this one, the sound wave produced must seem like the original frequency. Okay, original frequency means the original sound. Lah. Okay, this one is the last one for the application. Okay, you can refer the diagram what I show you just now. So now our lesson is until here we are finished. So what you need to do is a tutorial. The tutorial, no calculation. You're just using your left hand. Make sure the rotation you are frequently to show. Last minute you show, that means you don't know how to show. You must do more exercise to rotate your hand, okay? Then you find out how to rotate it. Then you can get the result, okay? So the coming soon, I will show you the tutorial answer. Okay, tutorial answer, uh, some questions I will show you how to using the left hand. Uh. 
exam is a uh, easier one I just give you the answer then the structure I will always to explain okay thank you for your watching so uh, we'll see you again on the last